back to my channel so this video is going to be a weekly reading vlog i have one exciting thing happening this week on tuesday and i think it's just gonna be a pretty chill week because i also have wednesday off from work so it's gonna be a nice short and hopefully kind of relaxing week because i do have that day off on wednesday so i'll be able to get a lot of reading done hopefully so um yeah, the reading plans for this week are not really set in stone because I'm not good at sticking to TBRs because I just read based on what mood I'm in, but I am currently making my way through my reread of Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I am on chapter 23, which is I think part 3 or 4 maybe? I'm not sure, but I'm almost done with my reread, and I just love being back in this world. I love all of these characters so much. It's the first book series that I fell in love with, and it's standing the test of time because right even now in 2022, I am obsessed with it. I just, I love all of these characters and the whole world and just the banter and everything is just absolutely everything to me so I am tabbing and kind of annotating as I go. These paper tabs are from my first reread in um, 2020 so as I read I am taking these tabs off because they're ugly and it doesn't it doesn't look nice but um yeah so I am making my way through this and I have like less than 200 pages left I think so I should be able to finish this pretty soon and then after that I'm gonna want to take a little break I think from this little reread because I just want to savor it I don't want to binge through both books super fast so I do have Cookie Kingdom on my TBR but as like a little in between like palette cleanser type thing I guess. I have Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun. It's a little graphic novel about an alien that is sent to study Earth and it just seems like it's gonna be super cute and like a quick little read like there aren't really that many like words or anything. It's mostly like drawings and stuff so this is gonna be a nice in-between between um, Six of Crows and then Crook Kingdom, which I have not reread. The last time I read this book was in 2017, so very excited to reread this. And yeah, so after I finish Six of Crows, I'm gonna read this one, and then once I finish that, I'm gonna dive back into this world because this book is kind of big and yeah I'm just gonna need a little break in between both of those books because it's, it's just a lot for my reading slump e brain right now so I just need like a little in between to break up all of the like bigger-ish books that I'm reading so yeah those are my reading plans for this week and then on Tuesday I am seeing Halsey in concert. <laughs> I am so excited. Like, I literally cannot describe how excited I am. It's the I, If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power tour, and it's the opening night. We're the first show in West Palm Beach, so I don't know what to expect. It's, it's gonna be a surprise. And I'm just so excited because the last time I saw Halsey in concert, was in like 2018 or 2019 and I'm just so excited to be seeing them again because I actually did kind of see them in August of last year because I went to the screening of the If I Can't Have Love I Want Power movie in LA at the Chinese Theater and at the end of the movie they actually came out and surprised everyone and just like talked a little bit about like the movie and everything and it was just such a surreal moment so I'm just really excited to have not like a full circle moment kind of but like seeing Halsey at the screening of that movie and then seeing them 
at their concert for this album is just gonna be so exciting and I can't wait so I am leaving work early on Tuesday for that and then I have Wednesday off just so I can recover from the concert because it's in West Palm Beach which is two hours away and I don't feel like waking up at six in the morning after going to a concert that's like two hours away. I'm just gonna keep making my way through Six of Crows. I want to get to like the next part because it's divided into five parts I think. So if I can get to at least, I think I can read this today. If not then a little more. I will check back in once I have some reading updates. So I have a few updates. So I finished Six of Crows last night and I absolutely just adored it. Look at all of my tabs. There is a lot of them and just, I love this book so much. And now I can finally look through all of my like pink tabs and look for all of the moments that I just love so much and I just love this book and this entire series so much. It means so much to me. It's the first book series I fell in love with and it still holds the test of time even like five years later. I just, I love it so much. And I also went book shopping on Saturday. I started filming this vlog on Sunday, but I still want to include that clip from the book, those clips from the bookstore because I got some cute little like b-roll and I also got some cute little books. <laughs> so they are all in this tote bag that I got for um, Independent Bookstore Day, my local bookstore. Look at this bag. It's... Oh. And then I have my copy of Six of Crows, like just... It's beautiful, but um, yeah, the books that I got are in here. 
I got three books for my friend because she couldn't come with me and she wanted to get some books. So I'm just gonna share those really quickly. Um, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. She wanted it. I don't read Colleen Hoover books, but she wanted that book because it's the only one that she doesn't have, I believe. So I got that for her. I also got her this, A Marvelous Land of Oz. It's just a cute little like, I don't know what edition this is, but of The Wizard of Oz, I think. And it's just super cute and it's really small. And I thought that it was adorable. And then I forced her to pick out this book because I sent it to her and I said that The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is so good. And she's like, okay, I'm intrigued. I want it. So she got this book also, which this book is so so good i read it twice like one and a half times i never finished my reread because i just didn't finish it but this book is so good the audiobook is also really good so hopefully she gets to this soon and maybe we can buddy read it perhaps but um yeah those are the three books that are for my friend let me just make some space on my desk okay and then I got three books for myself. So I got The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Don't ask me why I bought this. I don't like scary stuff, but I've heard that the book is really good. And yeah, that's literally the only reason that I bought it. And yeah, I don't know if I will read that at any point. Maybe I'll read it during like October, but. I don't know. And then I also got The Tempest by Shakespeare. I love these Barnes & Noble Shakespeare editions. I'm not sure what exactly they're called, but the ones that look, look like this. I am collecting them. I don't know if you can see back there under that cup. I have three other ones. I have Julius Caesar, Othello, and Much Ado About Nothing, I think. Have I read any of these? No. I mostly want to have Hamlet, Macbeth, and Romeo and Juliet, but I'm, I've been buying these secondhand, so these are the only ones that I have found so far, but yeah, I got this. And I also got Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford. I heard that Noelle Gallagher, I think she read this recently, I think she really liked it, and that's literally the only reason that I bought it because I saw it and I was like, wait, I think Noelle read that book recently and I think she liked it. So I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have no other um, explanation for that. And they were all used, so they weren't that expensive. So yeah, these are the three books that I got. I also sold a ton of my like unread books. I had like two boxes full of just a bunch of random books and they actually accepted all of them and they gave me $160 in store credits so when I bought these books the way that they their system works is that they'll take half off the final price and use half of the store credit and then you just pay the remaining half because if they use the entirety of the store credit then they wouldn't be making any money so these all these books were originally gonna be $44, but since I had the store credit, I only had to pay $22. And they used $22 of the store credit that I got. So I still have like $140 something dollars in store credits. So very excited about that. I love that cute little bookstore. It's pretty far away from me, but I just love it. And I the owners are super nice and it's just nice and small and it's in a really random area and the selection is it has a they have a really good selection of books of all different genres. They have like a huge mass market paperback romance section, but sometimes you have to like dig around a little bit to find those hidden gems such as these and then also the ones I got from my friend. Okay, sorry if the angle looks a little bit different. My phone fell and I don't know how to reposition it to the angle that I had it before, but those are all of the books that I got and I am sitting Halsey in like 
four hours I think. I think it's like three something right now. I'm gonna start heading over to my friend's house in a little bit and I am so, 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 so excited. I can't put it into words. I already said this earlier in the vlog, but I'm just so excited to see Halsey live and on opening night. So I don't know what to expect. I have no expectations. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a surprise for everyone there and I'm going with two of my friends and it's just gonna be so so fun so I am very excited for that so I'm gonna start heading out in a little bit I can't believe that I'm finally seeing Halsey live again like Halsey just put, puts on the best concerts ever like if you've been to a Halsey concert before then you know that they put on such incredible shows so I'm so excited and it's opening night so I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know what the set list is gonna be, I don't know what the opening song is gonna be, I don't know anything. So I am so excited because I just, I don't know what to expect. It's just gonna be incredible and I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna start heading out in a few minutes, I think. <laughs> I saw Halsey last night and it was such an amazing experience like I wish I could properly articulate just how incredible that show was it was uh, it was literally amazing probably one of the best Halsey shows I've ever seen I the visuals and the set list was so good. They played 27 songs. The show literally lasted exactly two hours. Like, I was not expecting it to be that long. Visuals were amazing. Everything, the, like, the, the lighting and, like, the effects and everything was just so, so good. And just the set list, I can't get over the set list. They played so many songs that I love so, so much, like Hurricane and all of those like super old songs from Badlands. And um, they also played Nightmare and Experiment on Me. I literally lost my mind. I had never heard those songs live before and I was not expecting them to perform them because Nightmare was kind of like a single that like she kind of like forgot about a little bit. And then um, Experiment on Me was for the Birds of Prey soundtrack. So like they weren't songs I was expecting them to perform, but they did. When they teased performing Nightmare, I was like, there's no way you're actually going to play Nightmare. But it was a three year anniversary since she released Nightmare. So I was like, okay, she has to perform it. 
and then she did and then after they finished nightmare i was like what if they play what if they put experiment on me and right after nightmare they played experiment on me i was on the floor i was literally in shock and then i was screaming my head off i was screaming so much i was dancing so much i was the epitome of that gwyneth paltrow video i laughed i cried a number of times i sweat i danced i got a shot i ate and i had many epiphanies that was me um i had just such an incredible time with my friends and it was just so 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 fun like i was non-stop dancing the entire time i did get some merch it was honestly way too expensive but i had to get it so i got this shirt that says um halsey one night only was palm beach may 17 2022 and i had to get this because one it's tie-dye and i love tie-dye and also because it's exclusive to our show like it has our show on it only it doesn't have any of the other like tour dates on the back it's just for our show and when artists do merch that's exclusive to that show then i just have to buy it because it's our show like it's exclusive to our show only so i got that and then this is what it looks like on the back it just has like some little like logos i also got the uh tour poster just looks like this and our date is right here the very first one and i don't know where i'm gonna put this i have no space on my walls but i'll find a place to put it because i just love this poster and oh, i can put it under my badlands poster that i got from when i met them in like 2015 I think I might do that if this fits in that little column, but yeah, I got that. Also, I was debating getting the um, tote bag that they had, but I didn't want to spend any more money, so that's why I didn't buy that. But um, yeah, my voice is gone. <laughs> like, it kind of hurts to speak a little bit. I had the hiccups earlier, and it was not fun. Like, it was not fun for my throat at all. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to try to do as little talking as possible for the rest of the day so my voice can recover.